Hello, welcome to this video that's going to discuss how to use the AI Research Assistant. Before we start, we want to know this is in beta, so we're just testing and trying to get feedback on where it works, what doesn't work, and we will be sending you some questionnaires to, to help us out on designing this to make it as useful as possible. When you come to the website, you're going to click on the, the app and come to log in. So I'll put in my credentials, put in my password, and I'll submit. You'll notice also you can reset your password and request access to the app. Once you log in, this is set up like ChatGPT. Here is your chat window, and over here you have your command center or your menu structure. So you can log out, clear the chat, we'll just get rid of anything in the context. You then can choose to search, upload a PDF, or chat. Clicking chat returns you to this window. Next you can select the model name that you want to use. We've integrated different models that have different strengths and different weaknesses. I'm going to go ahead and just use the latest GPT-4 model from OpenAI. Down here is your pin board. When you search for articles, you'll pin them over here. What's in their pin board is what's going to be available to chat. So let's go ahead and click search to start. Now this is a very basic search. Um, you'll notice that it searches only these journals and there's different abstracts involved. All of this is built on abstracts. So what we'll be searching against and talking against are the abstracts unless we get in, until we get to PDFs. So I'm going to say I want to search for 10 articles from 1990 to 2023, and I want to search on the idea of earnings management and technology. All right, and you'll notice the article comes up with just the abstract, the number of cross-ref citations, who the authors are, and the name, and then the DOI. So if you click on the DOI, it'll take you immediately to the specific article. All right, we're not going to look at the issues in accounting education. We're going to come down, and, and I would carefully think through which articles I'm pinning, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to pin several of these articles in the different journals. And you'll notice every time I pin, it puts it over here in the abstract, Counting Horizons, and great. We'll just take those eight articles. When I'm done searching for articles, I can go back to chat. Now you'll notice it'll say eight articles in context. Those are the ones over here on your pin board. So these are the ones that you're chatting against. Now doing it in this way gets rid of a lot of hallucinations. You'll notice, for example, I can say, summarize each article in two bullet points. In the context, you'll see the context window. Again, this just reiterates, here's the articles that it's considering when it's chatting. Up here, you'll see when it's running, you can click stop to stop. Now it's going to go in, and it didn't do it exactly what I wanted. Prompt engineering is not perfect. Um, it's just putting the summary of each article in a bullet point. And you can see it, it goes through and it's going to summarize each of the different articles. All right, it takes a little bit of time to run through all of this. Different models will run faster or slower than others. And just like in ChatGPT, the context that you can reference things previously in the chat. But now we're going to show that you can do something a little bit more powerful. I'm going to say, um, summarize what is similar and different across these set of articles. So now I'm trying to get in to synthesize the research so I can start to get oriented on what's going on in this research. And so here's it going to list similarities across the articles. Now this is especially valuable for PhD students or scholars new to an area. They can start getting the lay of the land of how things relate to each other and what are the same and what are the differences. This specific one, I won't read all of it, but it goes through and it supports, here's um, I, specific factors that um, are important for, for earnings management. And then it gives the citations to each one of those articles. And then here are the differences. All right, so there's some differences in focusing on different com 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 companies in different countries. Um, there's different methodologies and the implications. Now, watch this second bullet point. I want to focus on the, on the methodology. Well, first before that, it'll also say here's points of tension. So here is... Balls challenging belief that earnings management are rampant, which contradicts with others that say maybe it is rampant. So you can start to see these tensions, and then you can discuss relative to the tension. On the point of tension noted between Ball and Healy and Whalen, flesh out an outline. Okay, so now I'm just going in, and it, again, it remembers what was talked about before, and it's going to come in here and say, here's the outline. Explanation of earnings management, an overview, and it's going to say the prevalence. It's going to cite Healy and Wayland in there, 
It's going to be empirical evidence. And suddenly you, you start to have a framework for understanding this. Now, the purpose of this tool isn't to just go in and say, write me a literature review on these topics, although it can help do that. Um, we, don't, we don't suggest using this copy paste into your paper and you're done. Uh, however, this does help on here. And I could say, suggest three research questions that would help us understand and solve this tension. Make methodology uh, suggestions as well. Now, the quality you're going to get out of this is largely dependent on your prompt. I'm just doing quick and easy prompts to kind of show what is possible. But now it's going to suggest research questions. To what extent do managerial characteristics and firm-specific factors influence the prevalence of detection and earnings management? And it's going to give some suggestions of how you could do this with methodology. Question two, et cetera, it's going to suggest these other ideas. And again, you can continue to delve in and, and get deeper and deeper in this. All right, so that's the search function. I'm going to clear this chat. It erases everything, so be careful when you do that. And I'm going to show you PDFs. So in the search, we don't have every journal and every article. What you can do is enter a DOI. So before we go to PDFs, an article, for example, this one I recently had published on ChatGPT with a big group of wonderful co-authors, it may not have all the information to search for it and find it. But I can put the DOI in here. The DOI is a digital object identifier. Every single paper has a unique identifier. And once you do that, it's going to go and pull this paper. And you can see it pulls it with all the authors. And it's going to give me the abstract. And then I can pin this to my pin board. So again, once I pinned it to my pin board, it's the exact same. So I can use this tool for any article that has a DOI to pull in the information. Now occasionally papers, like if I go to SSRN, this is a recent paper I'm working on. There are DOIs for SSRN. Um, I'm going to copy that link. Sometimes a DOI won't work. And we'll test this one to see. See, it doesn't work. Um, new, two new DOIs, or if the publisher hasn't fully put all the information, it may not work. So in this case, you can come to the PDF, and you can actually upload a PDF here. So I'm going to take that same paper I had already downloaded, click and drag it here. And then I can say, if the article has a DOI, I could paste it in, and that'll pull the the um, citation. But if I don't, I can just click Import. And here it comes. Now up here you'll see I can either do a quick summary. And so the, the tool will read the whole PDF and summarize it. Or I can actually do a question against it. Now in search, it was only looking at abstracts. When I come into PDFs, it's actually looking at the entire article. Now I have much more power to dig into articles, specific articles, and pull out information from those. So as you're doing that, Think about what you might want to do. Sometimes this takes a little bit longer to upload them, to process them, and think about it. So be aware, if you can use search, it's faster. PDF is a little bit deeper. All right, so this one had a problem. Um, let's go ahead and, and change the model. Sometimes the model can do a little bit different as well. It pulled it in. And I am going to do a Q&A and say, summarize the main findings and the data for this study. So now I'm using the, the Anthropic Claude model. It's going in and, and reading the information in this. And it says, here's the main findings. And it says, sure enough, it passed the CPA exam. ChatGPT did really well. Gives you some, some of the information um, about it. Now if I pin that, it now comes over to my pin board. And if I go back to chat, I can chat against this. You'll notice it doesn't quite get the, the citation perfect. You'll have to go back and fix that. But, but there it is for uploading data. All right, so that's the basics of this tool. You can clear your chat. You can log out. And there you go. Um, we're going to look for feedback on what works well, how you used it, and what could be improved. So thank you for helping us with the beta testing of this. And we look forward to working with you to make this as useful as possible.